Hey, if you, yeah, don't look at my hair. Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and today I'm making multi-grain bread. Why? Because I only have one loaf of store-bought left and payday's not till Friday. So let's get a move on. Okay, here's what I have. I have eight cups of uh, organic, unbleached all-purpose flour, multi-grain, my multi-grain mix, Sunflower oil, salt, yeast, sugar, eggs, and milk. Why? Because I want this to be a heartier bread that will last the week and not dry out too quick. The oil helps that and so does the eggs and milk. Now I always make sure my water's a little bit on the warmer side. This is going into a stainless steel bowl that's cold from sitting out. out. So my water's going to be a little bit warmer than normal, but it'll change as soon as that hits the bowl. I'm gonna add, I don't know, a couple of tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of yeast. Now, I don't actually have to add this to the water. I can add it to the flour because it's instant yeast, but that's okay. We're gonna start with some flour just to get things moving. Put it up and no higher than two. Remember, that's the dough setting. This is close to eight cups of flour, but I'm gonna add, be adding multi-grain mix. I'm not using all of it. I'm gonna use about a cup of multi-grain mix. Okay, that's closer to two, but that's okay. Some oil, about a quarter cup. I don't like the way this handle slides around, gets covered in oil. Two eggs. And now we'll decide whether we need, we're going to need more flour. So here we go. We're definitely going to need more flour. I have flour in the freezer, but I don't use it right out of the freezer. Or, let's get this lump of flour broken up. Another one. And let's add... I don't know. Another cup. So we're probably up to 10 cups of flour. We're going to let that knead for five minutes. Now this should be coming up the sides of the bowl. So I'm going to add more yeast just because I'm actually going to be adding a lot more flour. This is going to be a lot more bread than I expected. But that's okay. We need it, don't we, dear? That's another cup and a half. Let's see what that does. Well, that's almost there. Can you see it's all gooey on the bottom? But you know what? It's nice and tacky. Let's just take this out of here. I like my bread slightly tacky. Keeps it from drying out too much. We're going to take our dough scraper here and scrape down the sides and off the bottom. I have my oven light on to heat up the oven. That's all you need is an oven light. Drop a little bit of oil in here and just start. We don't want to mix the oil in. We just want to coat the dough. It's not necessarily smooth and elastic but this is a heavier bread because of the grains. Okay, this is gonna get a plastic bag over it and it's going in the oven to rise. Okay. Oy. Look at that. Let's give, give it a poke. Let us do its business there. Now I have mini pans ready and I'm going to make some buns. I think I have them out here. I have a cookie sheet here with parchment on it. Now, we need some flour on this mat here. I'm going to put quite a bit of flour down because this dough is really sticky. But, now we're going to take our dough scraper here. 
gentlemen for leaving the meeting. Thank you, Madam Speaker. We have to stand strong and free. We have to support each other. And there is our dough. Nice and warm. Okay. Now, I'm going to get four mini loaves. One. Two. Three. Four. I really shouldn't oil my pans until I know how many I've got. Let's see. That may be a bit too big, actually. We'll see. You can pitch down the ends or whatever if you want, but it really doesn't matter. There. Okay, so let's see if I can't get some sandwich rolls going here. Kind of like subs, you know. Okay. I'm going to re-roll this one. It's a little small, and I'm just going to pop that buddy in there. And I, there we go. So here is four mini loaves of bread. Now, why I'm using mini loaves is because one of these makes two sandwiches for Howie, and it works perfectly for his lunch. But then there's also these. I've never done this before, but I'm going to see what we can do about um, baking these off and maybe making some sub rolls or sandwich rolls. I don't know. We will cover these with a tablecloth. It's stained but clean. Okay, these are going into a 400 degree oven for about 25 minutes. The rolls will probably come out earlier. Okay, guess what? My oven will not hold these um, as well as the cookie sheet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these through for a third rising. Yes, you can do that. See how light and airy they are? It'll make them a little bit heavier, but that's okay. And we'll let these rise while the others bake. <laughs> this is what happened when I made 17 loaves of bread in one day. I had to let some loaves rise several times. So we'll just, uh, we'll just reboot these while our rolls bake. And they will go back to being covered and rising. There is my sandwich rolls out of the oven. And I'm going to cover them. And then I'm going to put my bread. Now I'm going to put my bread in the oven. And there's our bread. Let me just pop this out. and Yeah, that's perfect. So what I'm going to do, look at the size of these loaves. They're huge. All right. Tap the bottom of your bread. Here it uh, has a hollow sound, that means it's done. Now, see I've put in the cloth over these and these are nice and soft. So to make these easier for slicing, I will do the same. I'll do the same with the bread. Yeah, I'm glowing with the plant lights here. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, sandwich rolls and bread baked for this week. Check! Take care, God bless. Multigrain bread at that.